I want to do a quick walk around of the bike for you guys. Um, I haven't done an update in a minute, and since then I've mounted the battery. It's um, inside of a case that I built from wood, and I will take that out and show you guys how I did it, but it occupies just about every inch of the inside of this tank. And I have the uh, motor welded on, as you saw in a video prior. Um, let's see what else. I got the, uh, the chain mounted on, obviously. This is a 52 tooth front gear, 22 tooth rear. I also have the charger mounted under the seat on board. Well, it's not actually mounted, it's just in there, so you could take it out. Um, and use that for cargo if you wanted to. Um, but if not, you would have the onboard charger. Um, let's fire it up here. Kind of hard to see, but that's how the display looks. It's got five modes, five being the fastest. The top speed right now, um, the tires, as you can see, the front doesn't match the rear. I have two of these. Um, these are the Target LX wheels. They're a lot better looking in my opinion. And they also have bigger brakes. And I have the front, but I need to put wheel bearings in it. So in the meantime, I'm running this one up front. And um, there's the tires are old. There's not much air in them. And uh, anyway, it tops out at 20 right now on flat ground. <coughs> and does about 18 uphill like 22 downhill and I think that may get a little better um, with different gearing or um, a boosted controller which would allow it to max out over the 750 watts that it's limited to right now I'm gonna be adding a bolt that goes through the bottom here where the old kickstand was on the bike up through the frame up here just for extra support for the motor in case it was ever impacted in any way it won't you know have it you know any way to fall off or anything like that I need to hook up the speed sensor still I'm gonna use JB weld and just put the magnet on the wheel at some point and uh, get that sensor lined up so we have a speed sensor because so far I've just used a GPS speedometer on my phone. As far as the range goes, it's got to be a lot. Because I've been riding it um, for like a week now. And it still says it's full. It's still got 53 volts out of the 48 volt battery. Because it charges to like 58. Um, so the... the uh, distance in the range seems to be really long um, I do have a rear tire so once I get a front tire on it and I run this extra support bolt and just get things a little more dialed in with it um, I want to do a video where I just ride it until it dies so I mean it might be like a four hour five hour video it's just gonna be full unedited ride so uh, look for that and uh, I thank you guys for watching I'll keep you posted